Today we're going to talk about this cool little electric chainsaw that I got. This is a Makita XCU06 and it's a super lightweight little 10 inch chainsaw. And it just takes these little batteries that your normal Makita cordless drill uses. And I think they've been using these 18 volt batteries for a really long time. So there's a ton and ton of tools that use these. And it's kind of why I like this because all the other brands seem to be constantly updating their batteries, which in one way is good. But once you've kind of committed, I kind of want to make sure they stick with that battery for a while. But what I've been really liking about this chainsaw, I've been using the heck out of it for the last couple weeks, is it weighs almost nothing. It weighs, we'll just weigh it here on our little scale. But I'm getting about five and a half pounds. And for a little chainsaw for backpacking or trail cutting or pruning, that's pretty awesome when you have the alternative of just a normal chainsaw that weighs, you know, this is like 16 pounds. It doesn't even have fuel in it. So don't get me wrong. This little chainsaw by no means is going to replace that big chainsaw. If you have any heavy cutting to do, you're going to want a real big chainsaw. But what this is good as is a little pruning saw. It's good at, um, doing any limbing, or if you're just taking a walk in the woods and you know you might have a couple tree limbs down here and there, you can knock those out with this without having to lug anything around. You can just put this little plastic cover on, pop the battery out and stick it in a backpack or throw it on the back of a bicycle if you're doing any like bike trails. Now, what I found to be good and what I found to be bad about it, it does not have a lot of power. It is not even anywhere close to some of these big saws, but it's also not meant to be. It is just a kind of a limbing saw or a pruning saw. So for what it is, it's probably kind of comparable to those other little saws that are one handhold. What's cool about it though is if you're just going to use it around the house, you're just going to pop it out every six months or something, you don't have to worry about pre-mixing fuel and trying to get it started. You just press a button and then it's ready to go. If you're in a tree, which you shouldn't do unless you're really very well trained in that, it does have a little hook on it to hook a rope to it so you can pull it up. Um, it's got just your standard oil tank for your chain oil. There's really nothing different there than any normal chainsaw and it's got a oil adjustment screw which I haven't found that I've had to mess with at all. It's got a chain brake just like any other saw would have and it's got your standard um, bar chain tension adjustment here. So when you get this little kit it comes with a little scrunch or screwdriver wrench. Here, I'll pop the battery out. It's probably always good to do that when you pop anything off. But I'll just pop this off here and you see what's underneath. So you've got your bar and your chain. This is a little bit of a smaller chain than obviously some of the bigger saws, but what's also smaller are the files that you need if you want to sharpen this chain. So this takes a 4.5 millimeter file um, which again, like the big chainsaw I had, it takes a larger file. So if you have a set of sharpening tools for that, you might just have to grab a different file. I would say you have to be kind of careful. I did slip the chain in some brush a few days ago, and unfortunately it just destroyed one of the teeth on the chain. And I maybe could have tried to um, repair it, but I was just so afraid I was going to ruin the bar. And you can get these chains for about $12, so I just got picked up another chain for it. Now, like I said, this saw does not have a lot of power. It's really good for if you're taking a walk or you're building a trail. It's not good for going out and cutting firewood all day because 
one, it's kind of slow at that, and two, the batteries just don't last forever. This is a five amp hour, and I've got a three amp hour. And you really probably want to get, ideally, maybe two five amp hours if you're running a little saw like this, just to make sure that it lasts for a little while. If you don't let the chain do the work on this saw, what happens is um, it'll stall out. So you just have to back up and hit the button again. So if you kind of bear into it at all, it's going to stall out really easy. So that's just something to be aware with, aware of if you're going to buy this little saw. It does have a high torque mode. So if I press this button, this is normal mode. And if you do really want to cut something pretty hardcore, you can hold this button for 10 seconds or something. Okay, I actually think you have to turn it off, then hold the button for so many seconds. And you see it goes into yellow mode, and this is high torque mode. So that will be a little bit, little bit more torque. So if you're cutting some kind of hardwood, a little bit less likely to stall out. But for what I use it for, I think it's a great little saw and if you're somebody who maintains bike trails or has a few little apple trees in your backyard or just a normal you know suburban uh, have a couple trees that you might need a limb here or there cut off awesome little saw so now what i'm going to go do is i'm going to go out and cut some wood you can kind of see how this thing cuts and um, just kind of how fast or how slow it is and make your own judgment from there